Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Happy Wednesday. Today I have three DIYs for you where I got the inspiration from Pinterest. Here are the pictures off of Pinterest. This uh, buffalo check pillow, these Christmas trees uh, triangles, and this Christmas ornament pillow. My first project is this buffalo check pillow. So I got these uh, samples of fabric from Walmart. They were $1.47. And I'm just cutting it in half. I'm using an old uh, white pillowcase. So I'm pretty much making this DIY pillow pretty easy on myself. Like I said, I'm cutting this in half, and then I'm going to put this on the top half of the pillow. I'm just using my glue gun, and I'm going to be using a pillow insert. Now, it doesn't fit all the way across, but I kind of like it with uh, the edge to it. Now, I found this old curtain in my fabrics. So I'm carefully cutting uh, this. I was going to make a little ruffle out of this curtain until I saw this on the bottom. I decided to just use this. I do realize that the uh, ruffle is a little big. So I'm going to cut off uh, about halfway down make it just a smaller ruffle thank you for joining me today i hope everybody's having a good day it's raining here in new jersey what's it like where you live is it cold yet has anybody had snow so if you notice uh this curtain is kind of dirty so I do uh, put it in a little pot of hot soapy water and uh, that worked really good. So I'm using these really dull scissors. I don't know why I could be using my cutter. I just measure straight across to see how much I need. And then I cut straight down. I pretty much do uh, a lot of things by eye. I probably should use a ru ruler more. I do when I'm working with wood, but... So now what I'm going to do is glue my fabric to the pillowcase and I take this edge here and here's my cat baby. She wants to help me. Um, I take this edge on the top and I wrap it around the top of the pillow. Here's my ruffle after I cut it and uh, I'm just waiting for baby to hit her tail on the hot glue gun or my iron or something. And here it is all finished. Um, I didn't really film the rest because it's basically self-explanatory. Um, here is my Christmas trees. Uh, I cut them in triangles. I tried to make a point at the top, but it didn't really work out that way. I make one white, one red, and one green. After that, I place little white dots on the red and green one. And then I put black dots on the white one. I do end up making uh, stars out of... Um, some poster board um, and I paint those gray because I don't have any silver. Here's where I'm adding the little Jenga blocks on the back to help them stand up. On the red one I do add two because it's bigger 
and then uh, on the green one, I just had one. Guys, please leave me a comment. Um, and if you have any suggestions on my teaching, uh, I know sometimes I kind of rush through it or forget to film part of it. Um, anything that I can make my, my videos better and my channel better, I would really appreciate it. Okay, so here's how they turn out after I glue the stars on top. Now I'm making my third pillow, and I make a pattern out of this cup, and I just put a square on the top. I cut it out, and then I put it down on my fabric, and I trace it and cut it out of each piece of fabric. So this is the fabric uh, to your right, as you're looking at this, uh, from Walmart. It's very cute. And the second one with Buffalo Check has little red cars, little red trucks on it. You can't see them from here, but it's really cute. I do end up using a piece of that fabric. So now I'm just gluing the edges of my pillow, which is what I would have done on the other pillow. I glued it from the uh, wrong sides and then I pulled it inside out. No, actually this pillow I glue it. The other pillow I didn't have to glue because it was a pillowcase. See, here's where I pull it the right side out so I could have a seam on the inside. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I glue the wrong sides together so I could pull it inside out. This is the first time I ever did this to a pillow. Um, so when I pull it inside out, I leave a little hole at the bottom and it looks like I sewed it. See, look at the seam. It looks like I used my sewing machine. I really like that. So after I finish that, I glue on my ornaments. I wanna do this before I add the stuffing so it's a little easier. I have to glue some uh, jute string over the top, up, over the top of the pillow to make it look like the uh, ornaments are hanging from the, oh, I'm sorry. The, the fabric didn't have a truck. It had a deer on it. Sorry. Wow. I'm really messing up. Anyway, I add the jute string up and over the top of the pillow. Now the next step you'll see I make little bows and on this first bow I forgot to add the little bells but I add them later and then as I'm making the other bows, I add the bells right to it. These bells are so cute. I got them from Dollar Tree, this whole bag for a dollar. They had a couple different sizes, all kinds of colors. Tell me, does your Dollar Tree have the craft dial yet? Mine doesn't. So I just uh, thread my jute through the bells and then I tie it around the bow. Now I stuff my pillow and here's where I severely burn myself, not once, but twice. And I, sh I should know better. There's gotta be something that we can put on our fingers 
to prevent this when we're working with fabric because I mean I know my first mistake is trying to do it for the camera see there's one burn ow look at that big piece that was burning me both fingers and then now I'll do it again after I put this piece of uh, stuffing in there I burn myself again So I try to just tuck it in, uh, still having the seam. Ah, there it goes. Damn it. Oh, I could feel it just watching it. So now I'm smart enough to get the ruler and uh, use that. Because that one really hurt. So my pillow is just about done. I'm just taking off all the little pieces of from my glue gun. Gluing some extra little spots down. And here are my finished projects. I think everything turned out cute. I love this. So adorable. That would even look cute in a baby's room. How cute is that? Love that. These turned out cute. Not as nice. I wish I had little wooden stars for the top. I could get them though. And then, you know what I was thinking of going back and finishing all the projects that I wanted to change. Repurposing all my DIYs that never finished. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. I could really use your support and hit that bell if you'd like to see more videos from me. I tr really try to put out at least three a week. Thanks guys.